All right, we are going to do another unboxing. I got a bunch of stuff in from Kickstarter, and this one is Orc Quest. So find out everything about Orc Quest when we open the box right now. Everybody's excited about going into Orc Quest. This game is like four years late. <laughs> so we all got an email or a uh, an update from Kickstarter saying that these guys had run out of money. <laughs> I'm like, what? What is going on? And uh, so then we found out uh, like a year later that uh, Monolith had come to pull them out of the of the ruin that they were uh, dealing with. So I guess they sold the entire thing to, uh, to Monolith and Monolith was going to fulfill everything. So now it's like a year later after that. So again, this thing's like four years late. Uh, so uh, maybe three years because of a year. So it's been about four years at least. I have to, I'd have to look it up. But yeah, so that's the story of this game, but it's finally come. And, uh, and now it's in a big old box, so let's, uh, let's un, uh, unbox it. Before we do, uh, remember to like and subscribe. And also, I'm going to plug my own comic. Uh, so we're doing Lords of L.A. right now. It is my vampire mob set in the 1950s. It's 48 pages. And this is number two coming out. You're able to get number one as well. Some of the um, covers were retired from book one, but we do have six covers for number two. And, uh, yeah, it's just an exciting uh, vampire mob set in 1950s Hollywood. Marilyn Monroe is in it. We have vampire on vampire action. We have car chases. It's full color and plenty of blood, guts, sex, everything you'd kind of want in a, uh, in a comic. So check that out. The QR code, I think it's, yeah, it's over here. And uh, or description below, we'll have a little link to it. Or just go right into kickstarter.com and type in Lords of the Lane. It'll come right up. We are fully funded. I'm just looking to unlock a whole bunch of stretch goals. All right, so check that out. And now let's get right into the boxing of Orquest. All right, how we doing, everybody? Uh, yeah, let's talk about Orquest. So I got two boxes. Uh, in fact, this one's even a little damaged. Uh, that are the same size and are so big that... Uh, they don't fit on the screen. <laughs> uh, in fact, I don't even know which one of them is the main box. So the dark box, again, it's weird that they gave me a damaged one. Um, but uh, this one has the name on it, at least, the name of the creator. Uh, so let's take this one out here for a second. Oh, geez. Um, and let's turn this thing over. Okay, so uh, this one has six large game tiles, eight half game tiles, three small game tiles, uh, 13 hero miniatures, 85 enemy miniatures, five boss miniatures, uh, spawn one Badass track, okay. One alert gouge, 415 tokens, uh, one rule book, one quest book, one comics book, and one uh, lithography. It's 90 minutes, and it's one through six players. Um, so, uh, and that's all listed there. Uh, and I assume that's the English version. So let's see what's on uh, the back of the other one. So this is the white one, or the light version. And this one comes with 10 half game, uh, 60, 60 more enemy miniatures, four boss miniatures, 22 hero sheets, five hero man, uh, miniatures. This one here, had 13 heroes. So this is obviously an expansion. Two expansion books. Okay. So the light one is the expansion. 
So let's uh, open this one here. And let's push this other one to the side. And let's see what we got here. Because two immense boxes is just crazy. Okay. Get the plastic out the way. And you can see some of the art. And the art's decent. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, you can see the damage. I mean that's pretty pretty damaged. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't affect the resellability of this, uh, wow, big piece of cardboard um, for no reason. Okay. Holy cow. Uh, Gorbog's Tales. That's what it says. Gorbog's Tales. Uh, this is obviously the quest book. Sewer Fever. Let's see if we can get most of the book in there. I kind of want you to see the top portion of it. I got the other box in the way. Same with my glasses. All right, so. Um, so it kind of looks, the maps kind of look a little bit like uh, Zombicide, and it's kind of even set up the same way as Zombicide. Um, human backup, humans backup, Knowles backup, <coughs> and it even has the experience levels like Zombicide. Blood for blood, and it's literally just blank boards. I'm not sure about that one. That one looks huge. Um, Archers on alert. What the? That's different. Works upon a time. What the? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. A few moments later. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't know what to make of this. Wow. This is almost like the rule book. All heroes will activate in order. So it's like a comic book version of the rules. I, I'm very confused by this. And then they, wow, I'm even more in the meantime in the orcs world. That's what it says right there. Try. But yeah, the, the beginning has a couple of has like four setups and the rest of it is a big comic book version of the rules. Okay. We got a uh, rules reference. Here's another quest book. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I, so we have chapters and then we have, oh yeah, chapter two, quest two, chapter two, quest three, 
Uh, I don't know what that is. Some kind of birdie. Chapter 3, Quest 3, Final Quest. Okay. And then we have a rule book. That's really screwed up. Wow, this thing's beat up to hell. How does it get beat up in the box? All right, so we have 15, 17, at least there's a lot of pictures here, 31, 33, holy cow, 41, 50 pages. What the hell? And how do you screw up? Look at that. How does a book get screwed up like that? That was screwed up in the printer. Okay. So we have, and I've been waiting, as I mentioned, I've been waiting four years, I think. I think this thing was supposed to come out like four years ago. And then they ran out of money, as I said, and, uh, and then Monolith picked them up and saved them, I guess, so that they could rerun the campaign. All right, so we got a whole bunch of tokens with people's faces on them. We got like a uh, piece of the map. We got a bunch of pigs. I don't get that part. And the same on the back. And then you have a couple of gems and stuff. And the same thing with this one. More faces. Little runes. We got some traps with this one. Uh, looks like we have some um, elves. Okay, some puzzle piece type of thing, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Huh. What does it say on the back here? Please store the spawn area mounted to avoid damaging it. Uh, okay. More tokens. Looks like we have furniture. And we have some more runes and stuff. There's a lot of tokens, man. That's a lot of tokens. Wow. Okay. Taking the plastic off the mid-sized boards here. A little exterior action on this one. And on this one. Oh my god. This is crazy, right? That's a lot of plastic, man. Okay. You got more tiles. And then we have a fence. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. And then we have one... I guess some kind of a tracking system. All right. I keep taking this off camera. 
accidentally. I can't get it. There we go. Just more boards. These are all exterior and one interior board. And then we got more. Yeah, it even they even box it the same way as uh, Zombicide. I think they took a lot of the uh, a lot of the design work from Zombicide. It's very interesting. Okay, and obviously these are large map tiles. A lot of individual wrapping. So we got exterior boards and interior. Exterior and interior. That's probably how they all uh, how they all are. Interior, exterior, because they can't be used together. But it does it reminds me of uh, of Zombicide all across the board here. Okay, so we have two boxes of figures. It looks like uh, so. We'll these obviously the enemies and there's a lot of them that's pretty cool a guy with a book I'm sorry I'm reading I cannot fight you right now <laughs> this one looks like he's got a gun These look like, like traditional army men back in the day when you had like pursuit and crusaders and stuff like that. And you have, I guess these are like rat people. escaped over here. Interesting. So you've got like Viking guys or something. I don't know. They're wearing some kind of helmets. And then you have archers. And then you have more rat people. This one's got a staff. That doesn't fit in there. These don't fit in there. Oh, I guess it does this way. Okay. But we have a, a guy here in the middle that doesn't really fit anything. He doesn't match anything else. Oh, wait, down here. Okay, there's a few of them down here. No, but he's different. I don't know. It's weird. This is like a magic woman situation going on there. Uh, the rat people, and then you have the rat people that have bombs. Either he's they or that or it's a bunny head. <laughs> I don't know what he's got in his hand there. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's it for this box. villainy box. Oh, 
technically, I guess the, the orcs are really the villains, right? You're actually playing as the bad guys. All right, and then and that's the end of the, the box there. Wow, that's a deep box for such thing. Wow, they used a really deep green for these. So these are obviously the heroes. So I can't really fit it all in camera, but you see some of the big baddies. And then this one is some kind of a dragon. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. That's how that looks. Like a little big virtue, uh, vulture or something like that. Like Got Jabba the Hut here. And you got some kind of an undead guy. But it's funny, these are green, but these look, they don't look like heroes to me. You know, so why would they make them green? I don't know. And then you got this little dude here. I don't know, I don't know what the, I don't know what the cards are. It's, right? Where's like, the character cards and stuff, right? I didn't see any of that. So let's take a look at the other box because I don't, I don't see any cards. All I saw was the tokens, the map tiles. I gotta look at the back of this. Definitely all just tiles. See now why didn't they wrap these are the same size? No, they're not. That's fine. Okay, um, I got it because I want to flip this. Oh, it's not actually a square. I want to flip this over and see what was supposed to be in there. Six large, uh, 13 hero miniatures, 85 enemies, five bosses, one spawn area, badass track, alert gauge. Yeah, there's no cards in here. It's supposed to be in here at all. But yet, look. not that weird? So they literally had to split up 
the game into two boxes? How are you going to sell that retail? This makes no sense. All right, let's move on to this one. I guess you will never see this game in retail. Once again, got some damage there. I don't know, did you I don't know if you've ever gotten a game that you've waited this much time for and then you get it and it's so big that you're like I don't know if I'm ever going to get this to the table. <laughs> it's like, why? why? Why make this so big? Okay. So we have additional quest books. Oh, there's the rats. Sewer fever. Which we saw in the other book too. Oh, this elven vestiges. Yeah, there's the female magic user thing. I'm shocked that this thing takes 90 minutes. And this one, they put the figures up on top. Let's hold the figures. The more interested in Bell, what we got down here. Oh my God, dude! Look at that. They dedicated an entire box to trades. There's all the cards and the dice. So yeah, literally the the box takes uh, the game takes up two boxes. Makes no sense, man. Why would you create a game with so, so many components that you can't fit it in one box? Makes no sense. And then you, you create trays for all the tokens and everything like that. I don't know. I think these could all, I think it could all be consolidated into one box pretty easily. Um, so these are different tiles for sure. This is a mine. As you can see the mine tracks. More exterior boards. And there was space in the other one for at least these boards. Because remember they had that whole big piece of cardboard up on top. I don't know. I have to look at this. Um, more exterior interior boards. Yeah, I, I definitely think they had enough space in the other box easily for these. So we got a shit ton of dice. Why? Why would you need this much dice? God. I mean, that's, that's a lot, <laughs> don't you think? You can't possibly be rolling all these at once, right? I, I don't understand it. So you have these black dice that I'm just filling out everywhere. And then you have gray dice, and then you have white dice. It's like a gray green, I guess. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Why would you need this many? And then you have blue dice that have skulls on them. I mean, there's no reason there's one that has skulls and no character is going to be rolling this many dice at once. And why would you hand 
everybody a pile of dice. Okay, so then we have, these are where the character cards are. Wow, this is so weird. And you, find, you guys find this weird? I mean, expansions I can see being in different boxes, right? Because if you're going to sell it retail, you're going to sell expansions. I get it. But uh, to have two boxes where you don't have a whole game, and the boxes are not small. I mean, these things are eight, eight inches at least high. Makes no sense to build a game like this. Oris, Talia, oh, there's a little guy, Mech. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, the big guy is a is a hero. Seven. Huh. Huh. War dog, peasant. Okay, so let me let me go back to the the hero cards again real quick. Uh, if Oris ends a movement on a square occupied by a hero, move that hero to an adjacent empty square. So he moves people out of the way. Uh, melee smashing, and he starts with a sword, it looks like. And then he has six health. Fight or flee. That's his little text, I guess. And then he's got some things down here. Armor of four, attack of five. They should have made these different colors so you can see the, the numbers a lot easier. Um, all they had to do is make the numbers uh, a color like yellow or something like that. It would stand out. Um, and he can pack ten things. I don't know. She starts with a bow. She's ranged and agile. He's melee. Heroes at range one do not block Dahlia's line of fire. She can shoot over their heads, basically. Goblin thief. Tyromancy. I have no idea what that means. Magic immune alterations. Mardis. Marides. That is Marides. Crow Scepter. Magic Immune Entangled. Uh, Meredith can move through a square occupied by an enemy and ignores danger zones. Welcome! Oh my gosh, it's only got four health points. Wow, that's tiny. Leprechaun Priest. Nasty. Goat Scepter. Um, Amza. Javelin and a Trap. Melee ranged and agile. Okay. Abgral. He's a troll hunter. Hunger. Oh, troll hunger. When Abgral kills an enemy in one attack, he heals one damage. Oh my god, he's only got three health. With a thing that big? This guy's got eight. He's got three armor and three attack. But again, that must mean how many die. Servant, uh, servant of badass. Okay. Whatever. Vulcan, hobgoblin, ranger, heavy crossbow, two sabers, Skyla, melee and agile, Therios, heavy maul, sile the fairy. He comes with a fairy, okay? He's got zero armor and four health. Holy mother. <laughs> okay. All right, so then you got these things. War dog. These must be the villains. Peasant. Guard. Did you see what they did here? How come they didn't do that on the heroes? It's a lot easier to read. Soldier. Knight, officer, that's a guy with a gun. Oh, that's a, 
cockatrix. Okay. That's the thing with the wings. Low Lothar. That's got the book. 24 hit points. Wow, he's got the most amount of hit points and he's got like three armor. I don't know. Activation with a blue die. And a blue die stunned. I wonder if magic is a blue die. But still. Null. Warg. So these are D and D things. Ashira. Lousy rat. You lousy rat, you rat skull. Wow, that's cheese, man. Rag rat. That's the elf hunter, uh, archer, I mean. Sacred Maiden. Yeah, uh, the blue dive must be magic. Dragon Saint. Tan Creed. So he's the one with the sword that was by himself. I guess it's because he's the only... 40 health points. Holy cow. Oh, there's Abgral. I guess you can use him both ways. Cthulhu Orc. That one doesn't even have a number. Interesting. Okay, so now we're into this. Hogan, that's more heroes. Those must be in this box. Hekar. Jekar. But see, they could have easily done it like the other ones with their in circles. Sango. Castler. He's a pig. Bortz. Another pig. These are all pig people. Hagus. Don't know what that is. Barrack. Youngblood. Wow, okay. Berserker! So we have humans, we have pigs, ogre, that's his actual name, Ragnar, warrior, so again, these, oh, these are the villains, these are, so the humans are the villains. These also had tokens with them. Royal Guard, Gold Digger, okay. Vankar, Zombie, Skeleton, Mummy, Card Deck, Castler, and that's where I think that's where I started. Yeah, um, no, maybe not. Yeah, these are the pigs. Tracker. Yeah, okay. Wow, I really don't even want to go through all these cards. Oh, this is a shit ton of cards, don't you think? It's a lot. Which is also going to mean a lot to keep track of. So this is not going to be an easy, well, 50 pages of rules. But meanwhile, you know, I just got, you know, Zombicide, uh, uh, Marvel Zombies, and that game is very easy to play. That's weird. That's not a that's a print on each one of these cards. How would you do that? Follow me, Mystic Hand, Stamina plus two health. So you must be able to buy these for ten. Watch out, protection two. That one costs twenty. Oh, wait. The actual people are on the back. These are upgrade cards. Dazzle, Seismic Strike, Badger. Oh, there's the Heavy Crossbow. Let me look at this real quick. These have three stars on them. This is obviously some kind of equipment card. 
then treasure. Yeah, so the blues are treasure. And then these are for characters. They must have to spend uh, experience points to get those. Juggernaut. Yeah, that's 30. This is some kind of a spell, I would think. Chill chat. Shadow. These and these are yeah, these are the uh, treasures. Badger cloak. Heavy crossbow. Yeah, these must fit in slots. But I'm surprised if they're gonna do slots, they they didn't do some kind of um, a little board. I don't know if I'm going to open this. It's going to be an hour long. I'm at 38 minutes right now. So I don't know if I'm going to open all these on camera. More spells. More character cards. Character upgrades. Box 1, 9 through 10. Hero pack, 54 cards. Skills and events. So let's just look at the back and see if bo uh, box one, pack eight out of 10 expansion, greedy and doomed. Hmm. Greedy and doomed. More items. So they stuck the expansion cards into the regular box, which is also very strange. But this is all just treasure, and this one's got a chalice on it. That's different. Armor, I don't, I don't know what that is. Trolls fart. That is what it says. I'm not even joking with you. I think R is reaction. I don't know what R is. Barrel throw. Abyssal fury. What is that? It's got a tentacle on the back. I don't know what any of this is. There's no number on this, which means it's not a upgrade. I don't know. But according to this, I guess there's 10, because box this they keep referring to box one pack something out of 10. Uh, expansion, Elven Vestiges. It's got the... So I don't understand that. Are you upgrading the villains? Because... Weren't the elves all NPCs? So why would you be upgrading the elves? That's exactly what this looks like. The villains upgrade, and then we have more of these chalice cards. Dragon bow, trap, and then more of the spells. Blind, light portal, ultimate. I mean, the artwork's decent. Haunting, hunting trophies, trap. Hmm. Core box, skills and events. Core box, loot, and relics. Sixty cards. Something, something, and enchant. Can't even read what those words are. Okay, so there's more. I 
cannot read that. Grant, crap. I don't know. But these are all the same. About a bunch of swords. Dagger, dagger, sword. Well, these are like starting cards, I would assume. Okay, what is this? Brutal of violence. Ferocious of savagery. So I guess you're putting weapons in here? I don't know. They said this was enchantments. Sparking of thunder. Burning of blazing. I don't know. That's pretty interesting though. I guess you put the weapons over part of it. And you roll the die. Threatening, like threatening sword and sword of intimidation. Something like that. Astonishing something. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Where you're kind of naming your own weapons. Royal Mines expansion. So, oh, wow. Yeah, look at this. The whole tray on the bottom is, is crushed. All right, this is something different. But I'm going to cut this off soon because we're at 45 minutes. Yeah, and I can't even break this up because this is not really expansions. This is all one game. All right, Royal Mines, Stonefall, these are more spells. And how do you know that they're mines? If I, if I break them up, like what, let's say I get them out of order, I mean, I get them in with other things. How do I get them back out? Royal Mines, 40 cards. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. That's interesting considering all the, they're all the same. The patrol moves three squares. So that must be this. Okay, so it's just this part, the mines. So that's easy to figure out. But they're all hi-ho, hi-ho. Three squares, three, they're all the same. And then we have the dwarves here or whatever, ricochet. And I think the R is a reaction. And then you have spells. Death Crypt. So these are the villains that have to do with the uh, with that particular mission. Beast in the Woods. Yeah, and then there's there's that. Yeah, but I got some major damage here. I got damage on the box. I got damage in the uh, in the trays. Yeah. Okay. So these are all the cards for the actual event. Um, but yeah, that's <laughs> sewer fever. So yeah. So each each one of the which is kind of strange too. Uh, but let's jump into this. This is the last box uh, of figures. But I can literally take... Oh my god. Wow. Pink, oh, pink for the pigs. Look at such an obnoxious looking pink, don't you think? <laughs> uh, these are like the dwarves, I think. Pink bombardier, I guess. These are like zombies. 
or the mummies, one or the other. Might be the mummies. Huh. I mean, that's the one thing that I always said about Monolith is that they always had, you know, decent looking figures, but the games were never that great. Yeah, so I guess these are heroes, even these big ones. Anything that's green is a hero, playable hero. Look at that thing. There's that drilling. So this it's there's funny they have machines and guns and stuff like that in an orc setup genre. And then I guess you have little little heroes as well. See, but look at the amount of wasted kind of space here in this box. I mean all this can fit into like a spot that's like this big. I think you can definitely get this down into one uh, into one box, pretty much for sure. Oh damn it! I thought this is how it went. Oh, he's not in there, right? It was definitely this way, right? How come his hand doesn't look like it's... It's definitely this way. My hand is really sticking out. Unless this goes on the top. Did this go on the top? No. I'm confused. Alright, so for right now we're just going to put that back. But also half that... Um, Half this box is empty trays, right? the end of that let me know what you guys think and the fact that we have two huge huge boxes of one single game let me know what you guys think let's uh, do some final thoughts all right Bye. so yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching and if we're st still you know watching at this point let's uh i just want to do a quick you know 30 second end of the the tail end of this thing review so i haven't played the game yet obviously but do you guys find it strange that it was in two different boxes and it's one game? You know, even uh, Simon has like, all right, they have a box that just has the expansion figures in it. But this one has the figures in one box and the cards in another box. And then, of course, it was damaged. I don't know what to do about any of that. Probably nothing. There's probably nothing I can do about it. But uh, 50 pages of rule book. It doesn't look like that complicated a game because it does look like Zombicide, but I don't I don't understand why. And then there's that whole other book that has all the cartoon on it. 
uh, you know, the comic. I don't understand that either. But uh, I'll try to play a, a, a playthrough on that, a solo playthrough. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. All right? But I really think everything can go into one box. I really think that we can combine everything into one box. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you can uh, support us on Kickstarter with Lords of LA, I really would appreciate it. Uh, I would like to get to 10 grand by the time this thing finishes because it, it actually costs me more than that to make the thing. All right. There will be other um, videos that come up uh, from my channel if you want to check those out. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.